Hi, we are here with Carrie, our head genius, to do a quick DIY tutorial of uneven step hem, or as we like to call them, mullet hem. So with that, I'm gonna let Carrie take it away and show us how to cut these spring trend hems. Thanks, Steph. Uh, yeah, so everyone can rock the mullet hem. You can do this with any jean. Uh, we're doing it with a skinny jean, but you can definitely, I highly recommend it with a straight jean, like how I'm wearing, if you want the cropped look. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is measure up um, where the inseam you want them. So what Stephanie did here, because I'm doing these for her, she went ahead and tried them on and we measured four and a quarter and then I pinned them in those spots. So we're going to go ahead and just chop and give a nice raw hem. Um, and you go ahead and cut nice and slow and smooth so you don't have any jagged edges. And the nice thing here is don't worry if you accidentally mess up, it's easy to fix and you can always start long and go a tad bit shorter if you do mess up. So it's not the end of the world. So this edge that you're cutting here is for the back longer hem of the jeans, correct? Yes. So this is our, um, this would be the longest part here. And this one just looks a tiny bit off to me. So I'm just going to go back in and straighten her up. Great. Um, and so here's our other one that we pre-measured and we're just going to give it a nice raw hem. And this we measured to be the longest part in the back. And we measure to be just about an inch above her ankle. And again, go nice and slow. Make sure there's no wrinkles in there. Perfect. Uh, great, so now we got our nice raw hems. So the next thing we're gonna do is give it the most fun part, which is the mullet. And I like to go ahead and measure um, two inches up so the trend is nice and pronounced, but you could always go more subtle and do about an inch and a half. Um, and what we do is we want to measure and cut along the seams, but you always want both of these seams to stay intact and be part of the back of the um, step hem. And so we don't cut that part. So we're just gonna measure up a little bit here. You can use your pins for the measuring. And you're going two inches up, you said? Yep, I'm going two inches, and actually I'm pinning right at two inches, so it'll actually be slightly less. I'm gonna cut on the other side of my marker. Um, but two inches is great. You can do as little as an inch or three quarters of an inch. It depends how subtle or how pronounced you want that mullet uh, hem look. And so then I've got both sides pinned the same amount on each side. I'm gonna use my fingers and um, keep that hem intact and push it to the side. And I'm just gonna cut straight up to where I've marked. And then I'm gonna do the other side, the same thing. Make sure you push that hem down so you're not cutting it. And I'm gonna cut straight up to where I marked. Great. So I like to fold this guy in, give it a little um, push so that you can kind of see a little bit of a line to cut on. And then you're just gonna do a nice straight across cut. Perfect, and you have a nice uh, raw edge here, or excuse me, raw hem here. So if I want it a little distressed, a little frayed, how would you achieve that look? Great question. So um, this will go ahead and fray on its own in the washer, but fresh off the cut, I like to go ahead and pull a little bit with my hands and get those strings going for that nice distressed look. Um, and if you wanted to take it up a notch, you can get some sandpaper and do just a teensy bit along the edges to get it even more stringy. Perfect. Um, that looks great. But there you have it. Got the mullet hem. Thanks, Carrie. And we look forward to seeing everyone's DIY step hems. And please send us a message so we can see the results and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks, Bye. Guys.